right now and I just got finished taking pictures of listing products for the mouse pad which is why I have this out and, and for the backpack um, the mouse pad went great I got some good photos for that on um, the backpack same thing um, I got good photos for it but I don't think I'm gonna put this up on my shop just yet because when I was taking pictures I wanted to show um, a photo with stuff inside the backpack so I put like those books and some notebooks in here and I tried to put my laptop in here and it fits it's just that it was like really snug in there like really bad and it was kind of hard to pull in it was kind of hard to put out and put out it was kind of hard to put in and pull out and I think my laptop's like around 15 16 inches and because of that I don't really feel like too comfortable putting it on my shop so it's in a maybe stage right now honestly so what I'm gonna do since the laptop can't fit in there I kind of want to make sure that it at least can f hold up for a while if that makes sense so what I'm gonna do is that whenever I can I'm just gonna stuff it full of stuff and just like see how good like the stitch quality is because if the stitch quality is good I might put it on my shop and just like put a disclaimer that it can hold a laptops that are under 15 inches I'm just gonna keep these off the shop for now not put it on yeah so like it's a good thing I got a sample so that I know because you know it would suck if you wanted a laptop sleeve and then find out that your laptop can't fit in there so yeah so what was I saying Today I decided to work on my cards that I wanted to get out. So right now I'm printing out like the inner layer. And I already have the cards made out. I'm going to do the western one. Go closer. A western one. A Valentine's Day one. Um, my printer. Okay, uh, the mother-daughter one and then a basket dancers one. Um, just because, oof, um, the Valentine's Day one, I'm like already late to put out. So I'm going to try to get that up today. And the mother-daughter ones and the basket dancers, I'm going to get them up too. Just because they're kind of related to Mother's Day in a way. Most of the time, people who buy these two are giving it to their mothers or like to a mother figure so I want to get these out just in case anybody wants to get those for Mother's Day and then the same thing for the Western just realized that's the wrong one that's the Christmas one okay there's a Western one that doesn't have the Christmas stuff on there gotta fix that I didn't even realize that but the Western one um, same theme, kind of thinking about the same thing like with Father's Day or something like that. So yeah, I just want to get the cards out right now. Okay, so I finished printing. Um, that took about, when did I start? Two hours to do. So yeah, so over here, I decided just to print out the Western theme as an art print. And I'm going to put that up probably sometime either next week. Or the weekend, I don't know, I'll see. The okay, and then I have the pastel background. And then this is the main thing that I said I was doing today was making the cards. So I have the Western and then the Valentine's Day card, which is this one right here. And then the passing on strength card, which I said was gonna be what I wanted to get out before Mother's Day. And then the basket dancers, same thing. When it, same thing I wanted to get out before Mother's Day. So yeah, I have everything that I need to make the cards. And if you're wondering, these are the only mistakes that happened today. Okay, this one I accidentally printed out twice. I made an extra one. Yeah, I don't, I don't know where that came from, honestly. Uh, this one didn't fully print out um, the printer stop printing for some reason i think i accidentally moved the cord and caused it to stop by itself so this one didn't finish printing out so 
probably going to end up using this for like scrapbook paper or something. And this was what I was originally going to go with. But I didn't like how dark it was so I redid it for this one. And yeah I like that one better. because I'm starting to get frustrated cutting it a lot so I'm just gonna take a really 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 quick break so as a break I'm gonna read this really quickly like just a couple pages probably like a chapter cuz yeah I think I'll read a chapter and I ended up getting like almost 50% of the way a little bit so yeah I'm reading that so with this book the beginning chapters were kind of slow, like a little bit for me, um, and not much was going on in the beginning chapters. There was just like a lot of camping and camping, really, at the, I would say probably like the first 10 chapters. But Dan's have like started to pick up in regards to like the character's backstories, so yeah, we're learning more about the characters, which is really like making the story starting to pick up, like I said. So that's how I ended up getting 50% of the way. Like I said, um, I'm starting to get to where the characters are kind of explaining like their backstory and like how they ended up getting to like their main group, which they are in right now. And I will have to say that, um, what's her face? Okay, I would say that Wobbs backstory w-a-b i think i said that right um wild's backstory 
was like um the hardest to learn about I guess especially like right especially like right at the end of her telling what happened how she ended up getting there that one was pretty hard to read a little bit but um I would say that it did kind of like flesh out her character a little bit because before she kind of stuck around in the background a little bit at least for me she did so learning her backstory um um kind of pushed her to the forefront which I am like, kind of happy about so yeah I think her story was the her backstory was the one that really set everything in motion in regards to like pacing and stuff like that so I ended up reading three chapters and I did not expect it to turn really quickly yeah it just turned like really 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 quickly I hate like I said did not expect it to go that fast I really don't know what else to say just that stuff happened and okay so I got my new bookshelf it's like a skinny one and I already put it together yesterday and now I'm clearing out all my books so here's one pile and then the rest are behind me because I am going to, I'm going to adjust hold on I'm going to adjust this bottom one so that it can hold like my bigger books like this one like it's too big for this one and it can't fit in these ones so and I don't want to lay it flat just in case like I want to get to it which I don't really think I will but I but I like the idea of being able to get to it so I'm gonna adjust the bottom one okay so I just moved it up on one notch and I think this book right here is the biggest one that I have hopefully let's see if this will fit okay never mind I have light that is not my biggest book it's this one the textbook so I'm gonna have to move it up one more notch so give me a second okay so let's see yep there we go now it fits so so okay the way I organize my bookshelves is either one it's really random like it is right now like the books don't have any particular order two I like to either organize them by size so which is like what I'm gonna do with this one since that is the biggest this is the next biggest the last way that I usually like to organize my bookshelf is by author's name I did that for my manga except I did it by title and for manga that's separate I'm gonna um, organize it by title but like my actual books I'm gonna do author and then for this little space right here before I because I don't want to hold the camera so I'm probably not gonna do like a time lapse or anything um, I have like a whole bunch of blank journals that I kept just because in case I wanted to write in them so like these composition notebooks um, there are, I never really got to use these in school high school because that's when I got them mostly during high school I never really got to use them just because I really didn't use notebooks I kept thinking I needed to but I didn't so a lot of my composition notebooks are blank and I can still write in them so I'm just gonna put them in here like this or like this I don't know okay so this is the midway stage I put all my textbooks and all the books that I'm not going to get to for like a while while down here. So like for example, I have um, the Divine Comedy. So I just put that down here since I'm not going to get to it for a while. It's not one I'm going to look for. So yeah, have all the that textbooks down here. So yeah, so I have about one. 
two, three, four shelves. Well, one, two, three, four, five shelves where I can stick my books in. These two, I'm going to try to leave open for manga. I finished putting all the books in alphabetical order. Just to create more space, I double packed the shelves so like there's books at the back of each of them. So these are A's and B's, B's to M's. Uh, like I said, just textbooks, notebooks. And then over here, it's M to S and then T to Z. And then plus I ended up having an extra bookshelves that I'm just going to keep empty for extra books. And then at the bottom is the Harry Potter um, books that didn't have an author because they were made by a company. And then I have down there, if you can kind of see it, extras of Wuthering Heights. Right here is my Wuthering Heights. I have three copies, that's why. Just because I really like that book a lot. So I just wanted one copy of each. So I put the rest, the other two back down there. And then up here, like I said, I'm going to have my manga. And it's the same thing. They're double packed. Same thing. Manga is going to go over here. Um, light novels too. Which reminds me actually... These three actually are light novels. So they're supposed to be up here. I just never put them up here because they are packed away. Manga and then light novels and then zines. Which I have right here from artists. So yeah, these are going to go right here too. And then right here just kind of became like a miscellaneous. So like I have journals right here. Plus my little baby doll that I got like two Halloweens ago. So yeah, that is pretty much my bookshelf. The two letters that I ended up having like a lot of were B's. So this takes up quite a bit space. And the S's which takes up like a whole row. So it's B's and S's that I have a lot of authors of, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I just want to share that. 